Hello everyone, this is Abhay Sharma and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about get element and get random elements from list menu. So I'm going to open a scene which is very simple, just random points wiggling around in 3D space. I have also created our Suzanne which I'm going to hide it for now. If I play the scene you can see it's just bunch of icospheres moving around. It doesn't matter what it is actually. I need something to show you how get element node works. What matters is this invoke sub program node which is generating a bunch of random vectors in 3D space. So let's create our get list element node. As the name suggests it gets a single element from a list based on the index value. Index number is a unique number that each element has in the list. Now the index is set to 0 by default which means it's referring to the first element in the list. So it's a vector list right and this get list element is extracting a single vector from the list. So let's assign this extracted vector information to something. Let's select our Suzanne, turn on location and connect it. Now you can use index to choose which element you want to extract from the list. Pretty straightforward stuff. Ok let's delete this node and let's move Suzanne out of the way. Now let's create get random elements node. This node has two modes single and multiple. Let's connect it first. Single mode behaves the same way as get list element node except there is no index value here because it is selected randomly. As you may know that randomness is not truly random in computers. It has a predictable pattern and if you replicate the same settings you will get the same pattern. So to deal with this problem we use seed value. Okay. Let's change the mode to multiple. Multiple node extracts multiple random index values from a list. You can specify how many random elements you want, but it should not be more than the length of the list. Common sense, right? So let's say we have created a list of 24 elements, which is chosen randomly from a previous list. So we have created a list out of a list. Now what can we do with this data? Let's place our Suzanne on each element. So I'm going to create a loop. Sorry, it's kind of unavoidable. Lists and loops complement each other. I'll talk about loops in depth when we are finished with list options. So I'm going to iterate through our generated list, which is a vector list. I'm also going to iterate through a object list, which will be a list of copies of Suzanne. So let's create our invoke node, the other half of the loop. Let's connect the list to vector list. Now let's create copies of Suzanne with an instancer node. This time I'm just gonna select the Suzanne and I drop it. How many copies I need? Well, whatever the length of the list. Now let's connect the object to object and vector to location. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the amount. It's looking cluttered. If you're not happy with the current randomness pattern, then you can experiment with seed values. So you can see pattern is changing, right? Let's make it more apparent with spline object. I'm going to select this spline object and let's change the depth and resolution. Let's also change the color to something bright. Alright, let's change the seed value. There is also node seed value which is an another way to randomize the pattern. If you duplicate this node with the same settings, you will get the same predictable random pattern. This node seed value automatically randomizes when we duplicate that node. So you don't have to worry about changing seed values all the time.
you know what i'm going to inherit the rotation of points because they are all looking in the same direction which is creepy So that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, then subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment or share. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.